When is Coco Melon gonna pass PewDiePie? That's what you guys wanna know. That's what I tried to answer about six months ago and apparently it was very wrong. About six months ago, I made a video basically saying like, hey, I think PewDiePie is gonna get passed by Coco Melon in about six months. That was in June. And somehow PewDiePie is still like 10 million subscribers ahead of Coco Melon. Like, holy crap, PewDiePie is doing some good numbers right now and I'm proud. I'm, I'm very proud. It hasn't even taken an entire like YouTube subscriber war. He didn't even need that. He's still pushing big numbers. Like imagine what's gonna happen if we do have another T-Series versus PewDiePie, but with Coco Melon. I swear it's those intros he's been throwing on. Like they've probably been giving him them good views just because all the kids are like, oh my goodness, look, it's a melon. I'm gonna watch the video now. Anyways, guys, I haven't posted in a bit, so I'm a little out of sync. I forgot how to make videos and where to even put my hands when I make one. I'm I'm very confused. Anyways, on that note, stay tuned if you want to find out when PewDiePie is actually going to be passed by Coco Melon. So here on my channel, I give shoutouts away like all the time. The winner of our last shoutout was this dude, Klaxi Game. I don't know how to pronounce that name, just like most of the time. So, so that guy or girl, whatever, whatever they are, they won the shoutout. Congratulations! If you would like to win the shoutout this time, make sure you just find this icon somewhere else throughout the video. Whenever it pops up next time, just find that icon, comment the timestamp down below, and if you find it first and don't edit your comment, you win. It's that easy. You got this. Anyways, let's talk about Coco Melon versus PewDiePie. So Coco Melon is a massive kids channel. They make animations and they make a lot of money. A lot of these channels are becoming more popular because, well, parents just want to give their kid a little iPad instead of actually taking care of them because everyone's really busy. Yeah, welcome to 2020. iPads are raising kids now. Coco Melon is more of a father figure to most kids than a standard father. So anyways, let's look at some of these stats on Social Blade so we can figure out when in the world Coco Melon is actually going to become the number two YouTuber in the world because they can't keep up with T-Series, no one can. But yeah, let's take a look. So while we're at it, this is my old video. This is when Coco Melon will pass PewDiePie. I mentioned it's gonna be about five to six months if we don't step in and help him. And well, it's been about five or six months and we're still looking pretty good. So another reason why I wanted to make this video was because Coco Melon is super close to hitting 100 million subscribers, and you already know, I'm gonna make a video on that, so don't even worry. It'll be out whenever they hit 100 million subscribers, which is gonna be in like 10 days, so awesome. Or bad if you're on PewDiePie's side, whatever. All right, so let's look at the future projections of Coco Melon. Right now, in two months, they're gonna be at 105 million subscribers, which is still less than what PewDiePie is at right now, which is good news if you're on PewDiePie's side. Now, in four months, they're gonna be at 111 million subscribers. All right, so on PewDiePie's channel, in two months, he's gonna be only at 109 million subscribers, which is only a million subscribers more than what he's at now, versus Coco Melon picking up like 10 million subscribers. So obviously, Coco Melon is growing way faster but PewDiePie, he's kind of random, like he might get a random spike here and there because of us and all the alts that are out there in the world. All right, so in four months, PewDiePie is gonna be at 110 million subscribers and Coco Melon will be at 111 million, which means in about four months, supposedly, Coco Melon will pass PewDiePie, but we need to narrow that down a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to detailed statistics and I'm gonna figure out their daily average and then figure out PewDiePie's daily average and see how close we get on this number. So basically what I did here was I pulled up our fancy calculator and I looked at about how many subscribers PewDiePie is gonna be at in two or four months. So in about 150 days, Coco Melon's gonna gain this, this many more subscribers, which would put Coco Melon passing PewDiePie within, let's see, hold on, let me do some math. Yep, it's gonna be five months again. Which is kind of funny because last time I made this video, I said five months, but the unthinkable happened and PewDiePie started picking up again on YouTube. But now it looks like it'll actually be five months. So back when all this Coco Melon versus PewDiePie stuff happened, it was a little premature. And I say that because they kind of tried to start the war, but then it never happened. And here we are like five, six months later and Coco Melon isn't even that close. Like what even happened? People should be using Coco Melon more now that COVID's a thing, but somehow they're not like growing as explosively as they were thinking. Get wrecked.